you've upgraded to iOS 8. But for some reason, you have this activation error. You have the same message on both iTunes and your device and you cannot do anything to fix it. Even if you decide to reboot the device, the error will still be there. Okay, so how can you fix it? Well, there, there's no fix. There's no fix. The only way to fix it is to get a new device. You're, you're pretty much fucked. So thank you all for watching this video. I'm Daniel and I'll see you in the next one. Just joking, the fix is really, really simple. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the activation error on your iOS device. So, let's have a look. Okay, so the fix for this, as I said before, is pretty straightforward. So, as you can see, I'm now running an iPhone 4S with an activation error. So I've tried upgrading to iOS 8. I intentionally made a mistake and now my iPhone is brick. What you wanna do is put your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch or iOS device into DFU mode. So first turn off your device and connect it to your computer and launch iTunes and hold both the home button and the power button at the exact same time for exactly 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Until the Apple logo disappears. Now release the power button and keep holding the home button until you get a message from iTunes telling you that your phone is in recovery mode and that it needs to be restored. Click restore, restore and update, and there you go, iTunes will start restoring your device back to the latest version of iOS 7. After a few minutes, your device will restart and there you go, you are now back to the configuration screen. So what you wanna do now is simply configure your phone or your iPad or your iPod Touch, your iOS device, Restore from Nikol backup if you want so that you have all of your data back. Finish the configuration, activate it, and once again, in order to activate an iPhone, you need a valid SIM card. So there you go, everything has now finished and we are back to iOS 7, 7.1.1, the latest version of iOS 7. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. If for some reason you haven't seen my iOS 8 upgrade video and you're just watching this video for the sake of I know, watching it, uh, then be sure to check out my iOS 8, how to upgrade to iOS 8 video. And once again, in case you want to go back to iOS 7, then I have a fixed video for that as well. So three videos, three iOS 7 videos, including this one in the description box down below. So thank you all for watching this video. I'm Daniel and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, you know, like as always, it's enough tech, send it out. Cheers.